Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. It was a rain soaked morning commute across Northern California. The pouring rain made for slick roads. This was at Oro Dam Boulevard East near Feather River Boulevard in Oroville. We have weather team coverage of this winter weather threat right now. Meteorologist Patrick Wright shows us conditions, conditions out there on the roads, but we begin with Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff. Jason, what's happening out there? Well, it's certainly quieter than it was this morning. All the wind kept me up for quite some time last night, and the rain awoke me really early. It was heavy for a while in the valley. We had some good, healthy amounts of rain, many places over an inch and over three inches in the mountains, but we have even heavier amounts of it going forward. More flooding is a possibility. Now, almost all of Northern California under flash flood watches and flood watches. Virtually everyone under a flood watch. The flash flood watches specifically, though, for our recent wildfire burn scar. So keep that in mind. Once again, if you live in these burn scar areas or downstream from them, you need to be vigilant, especially Sunday and Monday. That's the time period where we expect the heaviest rain, strongest wind too, and even some very heavy snow is going to be falling in the Sierra and the Southern Cascades. A lot of wind in our forecast, the area in gray, the foothills and the valley. Wind advisory for almost all of Sunday, 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. with gusts to 45 miles an hour. Wouldn't surprise me if we had some that were over 50 in the foothills. Then we have even stronger wind for Modoc and parts of Siskiyou County. High wind watch there. Also for most of Sunday, wind gusts could be between 60 and 70 miles an hour. Down to trees, down power lines, broken off branches, and make sure you bring in all those loose things around your homes so they don't become missiles just being blown around by all that wind. So current temperatures, mostly 50s and 60s. It's only 49 degrees though right now in Alturas. Lots of clouds outside, some isolated showers and storms trying to get going in southern parts of Shasta County. Approaching the Redding area, expecting a little batch of rain that's going to be moving through over the next 25 to 30 minutes. It won't be much compared to what we're expecting though by Sunday. So we're going to take a look at that hour by hour on future casts. Still that little shower is going to extend out more by 11 o'clock tonight. So some rain showers from Modoc, Siskiyou, and northern Shasta counties. And then Saturday, a little bit larger area with some light rain. This isn't going to be very heavy. Most places a few tenths of an inch. It's Sunday when everything really gets going even way before the sun rises. Look at this. 2 a.m. Good chance for the valley, the foothills, the mountains, much like this morning. We had that heavy rain. That's what we're expecting on Sunday, but it's going to last a lot longer. It's going to be more widespread also. More snow for the mountains. That's going to last through Monday also. Very windy weather on Sunday too. Lingering areas of rain Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, becoming more showery, and then we're going to have a ridge of high pressure building overhead by Thursday and Friday. So that'll give us a break. We need this rain. We just don't want too much of a good thing. Now looking at our future rain totals, very little rain is going to fall between now and midnight tonight. We'll add a few more tenths of an inch through midnight Saturday night going to Sunday. Then you'll notice all these totals really increase rapidly. The valley could receive over three inches of rain. The highest peaks, we have precipitation totals up to eight inches between rain and snow, so you need to be careful. If you don't have to travel Sunday and Monday, stay inside. Watch some of our programming here on Action News Now and just make sure you stay safe. The temperatures are not going to be very warm either. Overnight lows in the 30s, 40s, and 50s late tonight through early tomorrow. Some scattered showers tomorrow, but a much better chance for widespread rain very strong wind and heavy mountain snow Sunday into Monday. You can see that in the seven day forecast for Chico. Highs in the 50s tomorrow through Tuesday and then more upper 60s by late next week with fewer clouds and more sunshine for the Redding area. We also have a lot of rain and wind Sunday into early Monday. A chance for some snow on the surrounding mountains, but by late next week we'll have some lower 70s. So I told you we're going to have a lot of wet weather in this forecast. Meteorologist Patrick Wright is here now to give you some tips on how you can stay safe if you do have to drive this weekend.